Hello everyone, today let's talk about what's passive PoE. We all know that most of the PoE equipments are compatible with the IE802.3 standard, but there are still some non-standard PoE equipments as also known as PO passive PoE in the market. Non-PoE devices such as laptops can hook up with a PoE switch. There is a power handshake in the regular PoE switch before it releases the power to the edge device. You can watch my previous video, can PoE switches work with non-PoE devices? Well, the passive PoE removes the power handshake. It releases the power once you plug in the power. So no, once you plug in the power, the power releases immediately. Right here, I have a PoE injector. This is a pa passive PoE equipment. And right here, I have a PoE camera. Now I'm going to connect these two. You can all take a close look at this indicator. Once I plug this in, it will start blinking. You can see now the indicator is on. It means the camera is receiving both power and data. It seems like it's just like any regular PoE equipment. But actually, this PoE injector releases power no matter what's on the other end of this cable. It doesn't have power handshake. I would like to point out that removing the power handshake is not a good idea at all. This protocol is designed to protect our edge devices. The power handshake will slowly increase the power output up to 48 volts direct current slowly. But the passive PoE will just directly send 48 volts without verifying. Also, there are some passive PoE which output 12 volts and 24 volts direct current will not work with standard PoE cameras at all. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any more comments, please leave it at the section below. See you guys next time.